Nameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset That one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine If I don't break my limitations Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. of a successful Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. We come to you tonight from Lowell, Massachusetts with yet another Friday Night Smackdown on the road to WrestleMania. And later tonight in your main event, Championship Gold will be on the line. The almighty Bobby Lashley retained against Shinsuke Nakamura this past Sunday at Anaheim, but tonight in Massachusetts, he has decided to put the United States Championship up for grabs in an open challenge. Who from the Friday Night SmackDown locker room is gonna accept and fight Lashley in the ring? We will find out later tonight on SmackDown. But we kick things off with the winner of the Elimination Chamber matchup. And the man who will challenge Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship on Saturday night, February 25th, night one at WrestleMania. The Scottish Warrior. He's got the sword in hand for the first time in months. And it seems as if McIntyre has finally got his mojo back on SmackDown. McIntyre outlasted five other SmackDown superstars this past Sunday night at the Elimination Chamber. And that fire-breathing son of a bitch is full steam ahead on the road to WrestleMania. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland. Weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. It is coming your way Saturday night, February 25th, WrestleMania Saturday. The Friday night SmackDown main event. Drew McIntyre earned his opportunity and he will face the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins one-on-one -on -one for the World Heavyweight Championship. It has been well documented that Drew McIntyre's 2022 was a very lackluster career, lackluster year in the, in the career, I should say, of the Scottish Warrior. 2023, however, off to a great start as McIntyre has punched his golden ticket to the main event at the grandest stage of them all. But tonight he locks horns with an old rival in the Prince, Finn Balor. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn. Fowler was one of the six men inside Elimination Chamber this past Sunday, and things came down to a bloody franchise, John Cena, and a crimson mask in Drew McIntyre. And in the end, as we've been talking about, McIntyre, the last man standing in the Elimination Chamber, is on his way to WrestleMania. What a night it was this past Sunday night at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. The replay is available right now here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. The Elimination Chamber was your last pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania. Of course, we will be coming your way with a live special on February the 8th, Saturday night's main event, a joint production from Raw and SmackDown, which will be an epic event on the road to WrestleMania. What a way to kick things off tonight in Massachusetts. The number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, the Scottish Warrior. Drew McIntyre has been building momentum as of late, of course, this past Sunday, most importantly, but he's looking to keep that going tonight. And as for Finn Balor, looking to get back in the winning ways, he found himself on the losing end of the Elimination Chamber, he was eliminated by the franchise, John Cena. So tonight for Balor, a win over Drew McIntyre could absolutely put Finn Balor in future world championship contention. And with everybody, trying to find their road to WrestleMania, trying to find their way onto the marquee. Every win and loss, as we always talk about, matters inside the squared circle. But it could be a big win tonight if Ballard can pull off the victory over Drew McIntyre. These two old rivals set to lock horns to kick us off here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. 
Balor owns victories over Drew McIntyre if you want to date back to last fall in the lead up to Survivor Series. So not the first time these two men have squared off inside the squared circle and Ballard knows how to get the job done against the bigger, stronger competitor. Can he get the job done tonight? McIntyre's on a roll right now. And I'm sure neither of these men are 100% coming out of the Elimination Chamber matchup, but the fight continues here on SmackDown. Gotta wonder how Seth Rollins is feeling after he retained the World Championship over Dolph Ziggler in Anaheim this past Sunday. What is his mindset now that he knows he will fight Drew McIntyre on WrestleMania Saturday in the main event? McIntyre and Rollins, no stranger to each other. They have faced off in years past. Most recently, their past crossed back on December the 9th of the All-Star kickoff and the four-way elimination match to crown the world champion, which Seth Rollins, of course, won. Should be a very interesting contest coming up on WrestleMania Saturday on Saturday night, February the 25th, and of course, Sunday, February the 26th, which will be made evented by Monday Night Raw's Randy Orton defending the WWE Championship of the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle. WrestleMania is already shaping up to be one hell of an event. Both nights will be live premieres right here on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel. Back to the action inside the squared circle. The stronger competitor, Drew McIntyre, taking a fight to Balor right now. Headbutt, but it knocked him clean out cold. Rope break right there, saves Balor's chances in this matchup. He knows Drew McIntyre, for the first time in a while, has made his way down to the ring tonight, wielding that sword. We questioned the later part of last year that McIntyre got rid of the sword and got rid of the kilt and the whole nine to really try to focus and get back to his winning ways. And maybe McIntyre finally has got his confidence back after the Elimination Chamber this past Sunday. As Balor, what a missile dropkick, sending McIntyre into the corner. It's going to be a huge upset here. McIntyre gets the shoulder up. And I say an upset, of course, as we mentioned, Balor owns recent victories the later part of last year over Drew McIntyre, but McIntyre obviously with a lot of momentum on his side right now compared to the Prince. Balor almost had him off the drop kick, but there's McIntyre getting back into this fight, and McIntyre with a newfound confidence, not looking to see anybody derail him on the road to WrestleMania. Balor's got other things in mind. Balor needs to find his way to the grandest stage of them all. Trying to find what's gonna put his name on the marquee. My goodness! McIntyre's down and out. Balor up top could have been going for that coup de grace, but McIntyre tips up and trying to stop Balor from doing so here. Oh, chasing Finn Balor away, but look at this. The strength from the Warrior. Belly to belly suplex sends Balor over the top rope inside the ring. No running from the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, who tries to send Balor through the canvas off the spine buster. Balor may have survived another moment, but the damage has got to be done in your opening match tonight on SmackDown. And of course, still to come in your main event, the almighty Bobby Lashley wants to continue his dominance as the United States Champion. The confidence in that man will be putting the U.S. title on the line in an open challenge. Who from the SmackDown locker room is going to accept that matchup and try to dethrone Bobby Lashley and take away the United States Championship? We're going to find out in your main event later tonight on SmackDown. Finn Balor, one of the men that Bobby Lashley has defeated so far in his United States Championship reign. Just another recent loss in a big time matchup for Finn Balor. Balor's gotta get back in the winning ways. Doesn't wanna see the domino effect of loss after loss pile up, but McIntyre doesn't give a damn. Future Shock DDT. And will that be all she wrote? And Balor able to get the shoulder off the canvas, but McIntyre almost had it. We may be in Louisville, Massachusetts tonight, but McIntyre, I think, wants to turn this place in to Claymore Country. A Claymore kick to Finn Balor. And will that be all? McIntyre full steam ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Finn Balor survives. Balor not going down without a fight tonight. Swinging for the fences in the Prince. But speaking of swinging for the fences, Drew McIntyre's going back to the well with a second Claymore kick. And you can probably count all the way to WrestleMania with that one. Drew McIntyre picks up the victory to kick off Friday Night SmackDown. Future Shock DDT, not one but two Claymore kicks, gets the job. Oh, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. Escobar's beating down the son of the Cruiserweight Champion backstage. Well, for what I'm being told, these two men are set to go one-on-one -on -one here tonight in Massachusetts, Santos versus Dominic. But it looks like Escobar is trying to get the upper hand. He's slamming Dominic all over the concrete in the back. We gotta get some help out there for Dominic Mysterio. Legato Del Fantasma's leader, Santos Escobar, is trying to make some noise and get ahead before tonight's matchup against Dominic here on Friday Night SmackDown. We are back on SmackDown, and Imperium's Fabian Eichner is set for one-on-one -on -one action. Ladies and gentlemen, as announced on Monday Night Raw, the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic is coming your way. The finals of this eight-man tournament are going to take place night one, Saturday night, at WrestleMania. The winners of the tournament will challenge DIY Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the WWE World Tag Team titles on night two, WrestleMania Sunday. So a huge opportunity for eight teams in World Wrestling Entertainment, four from Raw, four from SmackDown. That tournament will kick off this coming Monday night when Raw's Viking Raiders take on Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, which will be a rematch from the Raw homecoming event back in December. Should be a great tournament that's going to progress over the next number of weeks leading up to the road to WrestleMania. And again, the winners of the tournament that will be decided on WrestleMania Saturday are going to go right into WrestleMania Sunday to challenge for the World Tag Team titles. But Imperium's Fabian Eichner getting a little preview of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic tonight as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the former Cruiserweight Champion, the one, the only, Rick. Gashay, along with Mustafa Ali here on SmackDown. And his opponent, accompanied by Mustafa Ali from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds. Ricochet! Ricochet and Ali will meet Imperium in the first round of the Tag Team Classic. That'll be in two weeks' time on SmackDown, but tonight the one and only Ricochet back in action as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Fabian Eichner. And this team between Ricochet and Ali really coming together after their Elimination Chamber qualifying match. If you remember a few weeks back, Ali picked up the win with an incredible effort by both men. The respect was there beforehand, but even more respect afterwards. And now with the opportunity arising to participate in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, Ricochet and Ali capitalizing and they will be one of the four SmackDown teams participating in two weeks time here on SmackDown. But here we go, it is Fabian Eichner, Ricochet one-on-one. -on -one. Both men looking to build some momentum for their duos. The 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Ricochet has been in this tournament before and has won this tournament before with Aleister Black back in NXT in 2019. So Ricochet knows what it's like to Make his, make his way through the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. He'll be looking to do it again in the lead up to WrestleMania. Again, that thing kicks off this. Wait a minute. Baby and Eichner going for a moonsault there. Ricochet got out of the way. Eichner crashing and burns. We know that Eichner ain't afraid to take it to the sky. We were first introduced to this man back in 2016 in the Cruiserweight Classic. Ricochet, nobody takes it to the sky like the human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown. Springboard, shooting star press, the one and only is looking to make some noise here tonight in Massachusetts. What a maneuver there, is Fabian Eichner back to his feet, looking to get the upper hand in this matchup. And what a one-on-one -on -one affair we already have about a minute into this match. Now Eichner, the stronger of the two competitors, you gotta assume. Eichner no, no longer classifies as a cruiserweight, even though he did at one time, but obviously still able to fly around this ring with some of those cruiserweight maneuvers. Whipping the former cruiserweight champion off. And look at the strength by Eichner, sending Ricochet to the air. Grabbed him and slammed him on the knee. Impressive maneuver by one-third of Imperium. Ricochet down and out right now. Eichner not looking to take his first loss on SmackDown. Especially in the lead up to the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Of course, next week here on SmackDown. Look at, look at that. Shooting star pressed by Ricochet. 
Next week here on SmackDown, the first round of the Dusty Classic will kick off for the SmackDown portion of things. We will see Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Legato Del Fantasmas, Joaquin Wilde, and Raul Mendoza. And then these two teams will fight it out in two weeks' time in the other first round match. But who will gain momentum in this one on one affair? That is the question that we are looking to find an answer to right now. As Eichner, we said he's not afraid to fly around this ring. He heads to the top rope, but he drops the elbow right on the heart of the one and only. Eichner looking to close things out, not just yet. What about the events we saw moments ago? Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio still scheduled to go one-on-one -on -one tonight on SmackDown, but Escobar getting a little upper hand, laying out Dominic in the backstage area. Gotta wonder if Dominic's gonna be 100% heading into their one-on-one -on -one match coming up later tonight here on Friday Night SmackDown. Nonetheless, Eichner showcasing that power here. Delayed suplex, letting the blood rush to the head of Ricochet. Ali at ringside. Marcel Barthel at ringside as well. Both supporting their tag team partners. Ricochet cradling up Eichner, and down he goes. And that may be all she wrote. Into the cover for the win here tonight, but Eichner gets the shoulder up, and the matchup rolls on another moment. Who will build momentum to the first round? Ricochet heading up to the top rope. 630 on Fabian Eichner. They don't call him the human highlight reel for nothing. Ricochet picks up the win here tonight. Ricochet and Ali are going to be one impressive team to watch in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The one and only mixed with the heart and soul of SmackDown. Watch out to all the other seven teams. Here is your winner, Ricochet! Well, the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic kicks off next week here on Raw and SmackDown, but as for tonight, that man Ricochet picks up the W here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Well, the action continues here tonight as the Defiant LA Knight goes one-on-one -on -one with the Hurricane, plus Rick Boogs and Nakamura looking to build momentum the next week as they take on Los Lotharios here in Massachusetts. And the results of those contests see LA Knight picking up the win over Hurricane Helms, plus Nakamura and Boogs full steam ahead to the first round of the Dusty Classic as they get the win over Humberto and Angel Garza tonight on SmackDown. We don't know the condition of Dominic after the attack from earlier tonight, but we do know the heart of this kid. And he has still made his way out to the ring and he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Legado Del Fantasma's leader, Santos Escobar, here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Santos Escobar with a recent victory over Tyler Bate, although questionable. Remember back a few weeks ago when Tyler Bate had the foot on the rope, the ref never saw it. Escobar still left with the victory. But nonetheless, he's back in action tonight. And after the assault from earlier, I'm sure Dominic's got a fire under his ass, looking to prove everybody wrong and get the win here tonight. And his opponent, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, of course, Dominic's father, Rey Mysterio, is the current cruiserweight champion of the world here on SmackDown. And you gotta wonder if Santos was trying to send a message to Rey by ambushing his son in the backstage area earlier tonight. And now with this one-on-one -on -one matchup that was already signed previously, Santos has an opportunity to really make some noise here on SmackDown by getting another victory over not just anybody, but of course, the son of the cruiserweight champion. Dominic's his own man. We've seen him out here recently go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the world heavyweight champion Seth Rollins a few weeks back. May have came up short, but Dominic, nothing short of impressive every time he steps foot inside of the square circle. But here we go. Dominic Mysterio's got to be fired up. The adrenaline's got to be pumping. After the assault earlier tonight, can he get the win over Santos Escobar, or is he not 100%? And will that play a result? My goodness! Santos looking to go for the knockout blow right off the bell. Dominic gets the shoulder up, but Escobar coming out swinging. Escobar is clearly looking to make a statement tonight on SmackDown. First the assault earlier, and now charging at Dominic the second the bell rang. 
Now Dominic on the outside and Santos Escobar just playing mind games with the son of the Cruiserweight Champion. Escobar wants to make some noise here tonight, wants to prove himself on the road to WrestleMania. Santos Escobar could be looking to get in the hindsight of Rey Mysterio and put his name in the hat for a shot at the Cruiserweight Championship as he sends Dominic to the outside again. Dominic Mysterio has got to be reeling in pain after he took a couple of falls in the concrete backstage earlier. Now Santos is just having his way with Dom right now. Just beating him up all around ringside. Now sends him back into the ring. Dominic Mysterio cannot let Santos Escobar dictate the pace of this matchup. There's a nice reversal there. Springboard takes Escobar off his feet. The former two-time cruiserweight champion down and out, Dominic Mysterio showing signs of life early on in this contest. As we are about to mention, Dominic cannot let Santos dictate the pace of this matchup. Dominic's got to fight, and he's got to fight now, and that's exactly what he's doing. Got Escobar in the corner, delivering those closed fists to the Chrome Dome of Escobar, and another one for good measures. Puts the opponent on spaghetti legs. Dominic going into the cover. Could be trying to get this matchup done early, Again, not sure of the condition of Dominic after the assault earlier tonight. Dominic obviously does not want to give up this matchup. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Dominic Mysterio's not wasting any time. He wants the 619, but Santos Escobar grabbing the boots of Dominic and slams him down on the canvas. Dominic Mysterio was going for the exclamation point on this match. Escobar was having none of it. And was that push right there all Dominic Mysterio had after everything that he's already been through tonight on SmackDown. And now Escobar looking to pick apart the son of the Cruiserweight Champion. Dominic is reeling in pain on the canvas as Escobar heads to the top rope. Goes for the axe hammer. Dominic, I believe, was able to maybe knock his balance loose a little bit. Now Dom from behind drops the neck breaker. And of course, next week here on SmackDown, the two men at ringside, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza, once for the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic as they meet Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura. Wait a minute, Escobar rolls up. I think he's got a hand of the tights. Referee, I'm not, not sure he saw that, but luckily Dominic was able to get out of it, and he dives that bicycle knee that Escobar hit earlier. Now Santos with a counter. My goodness, off the Spanish fly. Escobar is fighting his style of match right now. You cannot argue that as he comes off the top rope and the former Cruiserweight Champion may have gotten his hand raised, only a one count. Dominic Mysterio is showing that intestinal fortitude tonight. Not looking to be a pushover to Legato Del Fantasma's leader, but Escobar got him all kinds of tied up. And that's probably all she wrote right there. No, again, Escobar is not able to put Mysterio away. And you gotta give credit where it's due. Dominic Mysterio, even though he keeps getting knocked down, he keeps getting up. What is Santos Escobar gonna have to do? He might be questioning his own offense right now, wondering if he's got enough in the tank to defeat Dominic Mysterio. Santos, obviously the veteran of this matchup, the former champion, is throwing different moves in the arsenal at Dominic over and over again here, but Mysterio just Keeps fighting in this matchup. You can't keep him down. Oh, wait a minute, Dominic. Look at this, he's got Santos in position again. Going for the 619 for the second time. But again, Dominic Mysterio, he's going for the exclamation point on this matchup, but he's not doing enough damage ahead of time. Santos got his wits about him too much. And now Escobar with Dominic on the shoulders. Oh, wait a minute, counter. Neck breaker by Mysterio. Now Dom's heading to the top rope. Could be looking for that signature frog splash, but S Santos Escobar gets the knees up. And we've got one hell of a matchup tonight on SmackDown. Reversal after reversal with the big time finishers in this match. Dominic Mysterio now dazed in the corner. Able to avoid whatever Escobar had in mind. There's another reversal from Dominic Mysterio. Keeping the fight alive as he heads back to the top rope. Could be looking for that frog splash he missed earlier. This time he hits it flush. And Dominic into the cover. 
And Santos Escobar gets the shoulder up. A close call for Dominic Mysterio tonight on SmackDown. And that was close. Dominic Mysterio had to think he had him there. And both men going for high risk maneuvers. Both men crashing and burn. And now Santos Escobar finds himself in the driver's seat, but Mysterio says otherwise. Another reversal. Back and forth we go here on SmackDown. Escobar hitting the ropes and dropping that leg drop on Dominic that we've seen him use in the past into the cover. And Mysterio, did you see that at the last second? It was about a 2.9 if I ever saw one. Escobar again with Dominic Mysterio up in the air. And Dom goes head first off the canvas. And that's got to be it. Santos Escobar making a statement here tonight. Dominic Mysterio kicks out again. The heart of this kid, the intestinal fortitude of Dominic Mysterio will not lay down for anybody. Will not be a stepping stone in Santos Escobar's SmackDown career. He knows Escobar's trying to make a statement tonight. He knows Escobar's trying to get the eyes on him from his father, Rey Mysterio. But Dominic Mysterio ain't laying down without a fight. Oh my goodness, and Escobar may be pissed off after Dominic kicking out over and over again. He'll be kicking into a new gear right now as he sends Dominic into the corner. And now Santos Escobar heading to the top rope. Oh man, went for the Frankensteiner, but Dominic Mysterio held on, and he hits a splash of his own. Man, I think Dominic's got to be impressing everybody tonight through the assault earlier and everything Santos has thrown at him. I don't know how he is still fighting in this matchup, but here's Escobar looking to make sure Dominic stays down for good. Man, incredible matchup. Right now, we still have a United States Championship open challenge in your main event in moments here on SmackDown. Bobby Lashley versus whoever is going to accept that open challenge from the SmackDown locker room. The Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, continues the assault on Dominic. And I don't think his wheels are turning, or his wheels are definitely turning right now, but I don't think he knows what it's going to take to put Dominic away. He is obviously shocked by the efforts of Dominic tonight. He was able to hit that Frankensteiner off the second attempt. And now Dominic Mysterio on spaghetti legs. Santos has got him up in the air. Oh, wait a minute, Dominic Mysterio with yet another counter, and he hits the neck breaker on Santos Escobar. And there's another reversal. Santos takes out the leg of Mysterio. And this is an incredible cruiserweight fight between these two men. Oh, Dominic Mysterio, look at that. The scissor able to take down Santos. Does it again. Dominic Mysterio finding a way to get Santos Escobar off his feet. A third time here, and Santos Escobar with the charging uppercut. Escobar has had enough of Dominic's games in this matchup. Whipping him off, tilt to world backbreaker, a la Eddie Guerrero. And Escobar's mouthing off to Dominic here. Santos is obviously fed up with the efforts of Mysterio, but Dominic's gonna keep fighting. By hook or by crook, Dominic will keep swinging until his, until his tank is absolutely on E. Now he's heading back to the top rope. Dominic, the frog splash connects for the second time. And that may do it. Santos is down. Dominic Mysterio picks up the win tonight on SmackDown. What a win for the young man. After everything he got put through tonight, absolutely put through the ringer from the backstage assault to all the all friends from bell to bell, but Dominic Mysterio survives and is getting his hand raised tonight in Louisville, Massachusetts on SmackDown. What a cruiserweight collision. Here is your winner, Dominic Mysterio. Santos ain't gonna be happy about that loss, but Dominic Mysterio picks up a huge win for his own right here tonight on SmackDown.
of WWE United States Championship. What is main event time? And the United States Championship is on the line. And it looks like the extreme enigma. And a former United States Champion in his own right, Jeff Hardy, has accepted the open challenge of the almighty Bobby Lashley. These two men know strangers to each other. And tonight they meet again with the U.S. gold on the line. Jeff Hardy just last week on SmackDown teamed up with the Hurricane to take on Bobby Roode and L.A. Knight in a tag team elimination chamber qualifying matchup. Of course, they came up short, but what an effort it was by the charismatic Enigma and the hero of Friday Night SmackDown and the Hurricane. But tonight, Jeff Hardy finds himself with a new opportunity arising. The United States Championship Open Challenge put out to the SmackDown locker room by Bobby Lashley earlier today. And Hardy's looking to find his way to WrestleMania. And what a way to get on the marquee for the grandest stage of them all by walking in with the United States Championship. It's been an awesome night on SmackDown. What a match moments ago between Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. Ricochet defeating Fabian Eichner in the lead up to the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic that kicks off this Monday Night on Raw. The road to WrestleMania is getting hot and heavy as we approach Saturday night, February 25th and Sunday night, February the 26th. But nonetheless, Jeff Hardy accepts the open challenge. He is set for your main event contest. And here comes the United States Champion, the almighty Bobby. Lashley. Lashley has had a dominating reign with the gold so far. And that of course continued this past Sunday night in Anaheim at the Honda Center. Lashley went one-on-one -on -one with Shinsuke Nakamura, an incredible fight. Nakamura threw everything in the kitchen sink at Bobby Lashley and vice versa. But in the end, Lashley picked up the win and retained the gold. But the story really arising after the matchup, Lashley, Disagreeing with MVP's antics throughout the throughout the matchup, sending MVP out of his ring and seemingly firing MVP as his manager. Very interesting story developing there. Of course, MVP had stuck his nose in the match a couple of times. I guess Lashley, not a fan of MVP's antics. Lashley wanted to do it on his own, and at the end of the day, Lashley walked out with the United States Championship and also walked out of Anaheim his own man. Since winning the gold, Lashley has retained over Finn Balor. Shinsuke Nakamura in a triple threat match and that elimination chamber. Lashley won it by defeating Mustafa Ali. But tonight on SmackDown, can Lashley retain it in the open challenge over the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy? Introducing the challenger from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff. And introducing the champion from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. He is the WWE United States Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Big fight feel here in your main event tonight. Lowell, Massachusetts. Friday Night SmackDown, the road to WrestleMania continues, and the prestigious United States Heavyweight Championship is on the line. A former champion, Jeff Hardy, takes on the current champion, Bobby Lashley, who will walk into WrestleMania as the United States Champion. Another chance to find out tonight. The bell has sounded, and we are underway with your main event, and the gold is on the line. Lashley with the size and strength, Jeff Hardy with, of course, the extreme antics, the daredevil-like attitude of Jeff Hardy. Gonna be what plays a factor for him as his strong suit in this main event. Jeff has been at the top of the mountain. He has been the world champion. He has been the WWE champion. How many reigns has Hardy had over the years with tag team gold? Of course, the Intercontinental title as well. And Jeff Hardy has been the United States champion. Can he do it again tonight and be the one to dethrone the almighty dominant Bobby Lashley? And Lashley over the top rope. Jeff Hardy 
Nice kick there, sends Lashley down to the floor. Can't win this matchup via count out, but can certainly do some damage on the outskirts of the ring. And here comes Hardy off the crossbody. Jeff Hardy ain't, a throw, ain't afraid, excuse me, to throw caution in the wind. And here he comes again off the apron with a splash. Any means necessary to walk out of Massachusetts tonight with the United States Championship. Jeff Hardy wants the gold. Jeff Hardy wants a spot at WrestleMania. And this is certainly the opportunity to get just that. Hanging Lashley up with a barricade and delivers a kick to the side of the head. Jeff Hardy is coming out swinging in your main event matchup tonight on SmackDown. And now Hardy back to the top rope, throwing caution in the wind again, and Lashley has got to be feeling the pain after being crushed between Hardy and the floor of this arena. Two. Sending the champion back into the ring, and Hardy may have already had Bobby Lashley worse for wear, an inner predicament to lose the title. Hardy, look at this. Very innovative pinfall here. Has got Lashley pinned down, but Lashley's strength able to push him out of it. An awesome opening sequence there by Jeff Hardy. Trying to get the upper hand early going in your main event. Do some early damage on Bobby Lashley. Can certainly play a factor into the championship rounds if we get there in this matchup. Of course, as we mentioned, both these men with recent matches in the last week, Lashley competed at Elimination Chamber against Shinsuke Nakamura. Jeff Hardy was in the main event last week on SmackDown alongside the Hurricane in that tag team loss to Robert Roode and LA Knight. Nonetheless, both men back in action here tonight. And the stakes are certainly high with the United States Championship on the line. Lashley is just putting the hurt on Jeff Hardy right now. Into the cover on the challenger here, and Hardy gets the shoulder up. You know, you got to commend Bobby Lashley. You always see a, a confidence boost or a shifted attitude. I don't really know what to call it, but Lashley, I mean, ditching MVP this past Sunday at Elimination Chamber. At the end of the day, Lashley has certainly been a fighting champion. Got to give credit where it's due. Jeff Hardy doesn't care whether MVP's at ringside or not. He wants the win over Bobby Lashley, and he wants his spot at WrestleMania. And that's really what hangs in the balance tonight as Hardy's got Lashley in the corner and delivers the double feet. Lashley down and out after a signature offense from Jeff Hardy. Hardy had him back up to the top rope. The United States champion worse for wear right now. Hardy goes for a splash and may have went to the well too many times. But those high-risk maneuvers in this matchup does not pay him dividends, and Lashley's able to take advantage. Oh, wait a minute now. The big man's heading to the top rope. Lashley looking to show that he can go high risk, it seems. Allowing the challenger to get to his feet, and Lashley dropping the axe hammer. And that's going to hurt worse than ever with somebody the size of Bobby Lashley coming crashing down on you. Into the cover again to retain the gold, and Jeff Hardy gets the shoulder up. Back to the offense. This is what Bobby Lashley does best. Picks apart his opponents by power and by strength. And now look at this, wrenching in that anaconda vice on Jeff Hardy, which is dead center of the ring right now. Hardy's got nowhere to go, nowhere to reach to, but he does have heart and he does have resilience. And there's a reason Jeff Hardy is gonna be a future WWE Hall of Famer because he's able to survive moves like that. Jeff Hardy knows what it's like to inflict pain and certainly to withstand it and come out winning on the other end. Can he do so tonight? Looks Lashley off, and look at that, takes out the feet of Lashley. It was a punter's kick there. Oh, wait a minute, Hardy scaling the ropes. Whisper in the wind. Down goes the champion, and into the cover. Will Jeff Hardy be leaving the new champion? Not just yet. Lashley gets the shoulder up. Hardy moments away there from winning the United States title off the whisper in the wind, and he falls over the moonsault. Jeff's got to keep the offense going. Bobby Lashley right there. Able to survive Jeff Hardy's onslaught. Takes the feet out from under him. That's the strength of Lashley. Lashley's still got a little bit of that ego in there. Not paying attention. Jeff Hardy rolls him up. Hardy's going to win the United States title. Lashley again able to power out, but that was a big time mistake. But the United States champion almost handed the gold to Jeff Hardy due to a misstep. 
And Lashley with a counter. Oh, man, and an emphatic spear almost cutting Jeff Hardy in half. And that's going to do it. To retain, not just yet, as Jeff Hardy gets the shoulder up. But how close was that? Lashley cutting Jeff Hardy down with that spear. And oh, no. The Almighty's got his eyes locked on the charismatic Enigma. And he's looking to lock in that hurt lock on Jeff Hardy. Look at him. Whipping a back and forth like a rag doll. Hardy with nowhere to go. And the referee's calling for the bell. This thing is over. Bobby Lashley, the confidence, the destruction, and the error of the Almighty continues here on SmackDown. Wanted to be a fighting champion, issued an open challenge to the locker room. Jeff Hardy tried to take advantage of the opportunity, but Bobby Lashley is on his A game right now, and he is walking away still the United States Heavyweight Champion of Friday Nights. What a main event here in Massachusetts. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE United States Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, big time win as Lashley retains the United States Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next week on SmackDown, this is just signed moments ago. The franchise John Cena set to go one-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins. A Royal Rumble rematch, non-title of course, takes place next week on SmackDown. Thank you for joining us. Good night, everybody. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.